The final result was Celtic 4, Rangers 0. And um, before the game, I was making myself look like a bit of an idiot by saying that I thought we had the chance to win. Because, uh, and this is a stupid phrase now, isn't it? But going by recent results, uh, we put four past Dundee. Celtic couldn't even score. I thought they'd be going into the game with perhaps a bit of lack of belief. But at the same time, they've basically already won the league. Um, the Scottish Cup semi-final was an important one for them because this is their chance to do two trebles uh, in two years. Um, and I don't understand the inconsistency of the Rangers team. I really don't. How can we win 4-0, then lose 4-0, not even score a goal um, against Celtic whilst conceding so many? We know the defence isn't all that, but um, obviously Craig Gordon had a good, a good game, but we'll get more into the performances in just a minute. But um, I was... I was so angry at the start of the game. What you're seeing now is a more diluted version of me. I've had a bit of time to console myself and come to terms with it, really. But during the game, um, I was getting a, a bit too into it, perhaps a, a, a bit too angry with what was going on. But um, I used to say this a lot. Rangers play, uh, Rangers performed terribly. It was it was an awful performance and genuinely one of the worst that I've seen in some time. And the reason why it made me so angry was that it seemed like we were progressing throughout the season uh, through a draw with Celtic, almost beating them at Ibrox in a game that I still argue uh, was going to be ours. But um, Celtic were more clinical. Today, it wasn't just about them being more clinical. More clinical, They were the better team throughout the whole uh, of the game. I saw the stats um, in about the 20th minute. 2% of the game was uh, in the defensive part of their half. 54% of something was uh, in the middle, and then the rest of it was in the defensive part of our half. I just, you know, it, it, it's just, it just blew me away. It's honest blown me away. Um, if I'd have done the reaction live, I'd have looked like a total idiot. I'd have been this this angry so-and-so. But at this point in time, I'm just disheartened, uh, upset, to be honest, and disappointed because I desperately needed us to win today. We all did, uh, as Rangers fans, as it's now looking incredibly likely that Celtic are going to go and win their, their second treble in two years. Um, I can't tell you how deeply that cuts. It, you know. uh, the, the only chance of people stopping them, I guess, is um, Motherwell in the, in the final. As they just... Beat Aberdeen 3 0. So, I mean, obviously they have a good shot, but teams now don't believe they can beat Celtic. If we don't believe we can beat them, then uh, no team will. And, and if we can't beat them, then no team will believe that they will either. That was really our, our, our last shot um, of stopping uh, a treble, which I'm going to ramble on about, but also restoring some decorum with our team. Actually, scoring a goal would have helped maybe. Um, I, I don't think that overall is a atrocious performance. It was certain many atrocities going on throughout the game. Uh, Ross McCrory getting himself a red card. Other than that, he played well in parts, but there were other times that he showed he wasn't aware of his position. Uh, he gave away a foul uh, early on and it was evident from... No, it wasn't a foul, sorry. He um, allowed Rogic to turn, sort of committed himself one way. Rogic saw this and managed to get a shot off and finish it. Lovely goal for the first goal. And from then on, McCrory looked kind of um, a bit shook. Um, and I, I feel like he... He performed well in stints, like his pace, he caught up with Dembele, he caught up with players that people like um, uh, like Grant just can't can't keep up with. Um, I feel like this review would be a lot better if I wasn't gutted genuinely, but at no point throughout the day am I going to be any better than this. But um, yeah, him getting a red card was pretty much the nail in the coffin really, wasn't it? Because that was how it led to 3-0, Moussa Dembele was the coolest penalty that you'll see. Uh, it shows that we're a bit of a laughing stock in their eyes. Even uh, McGregor, when he missed his shot, it was already 4-0 in the 80-something minute. He misses it and he starts laughing. That's a Scottish, uh, a Celtic player laughing in an old firm in a semi-final. It's, it's just outrageous, isn't it? Um, one of the worst parts is now I've got to go to my cousin's house uh, and they're Celtic fans uh, to celebrate Grandma's birthday. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, uh, I was most gutted with players like Graham Dorrance. I felt like he, he's a player that's got so much to offer. Um, he started to offer at the start of the season, but as soon as he got that injury, um, a long-term injury too, it was, it, he's just it, questioning whether he's going to be properly fit again until the start of next season. Um, Bruno Alves, when he came on, he performed quite well, still deficient in terms of pace uh, and looking likely to pick up an injury, which he did till the end of the game. Still don't know the extent of that because he walked off and came back on for some reason. Uh, Fredo Morelos, I was very, very disappointed in him. He's a very hard-working player, but when he starts getting into a bad mindset and starts to get a bit grumpy, um, the, the game's just not for him. If it's not going his way, he doesn't seem to want to play. So many times he needed to be in the right position, just look at where the ball was. It just didn't happen. Um, the ball would be played to him 
uh, he wouldn't manage to get it. You could argue, though, that perhaps the players passed it too early. Passing on a hole was awful today. It was absolutely awful. Celtic were pinpoint. They were passing quite impressively, and then we just couldn't string two passes together. At one point in time, Jamie Murphy tried to dash the ball from one half of the pitch, one side to the other, and it goes off, and you're thinking, that's pretty much every single player now that's done that. Um, Morel's had his chance, of course, to score, but um, it's almost like he doesn't look when he's shooting. It's almost like he just shoots for the sake of shooting. Um, obviously, it's worked for him a few times, but I just I want to see him score against Celtic. I want to see his confidence return. I just want to see him score a bit more. Um, the big question was, why was Halliday starting, Andy Halliday? Um, he'd been playing quite well in the position of left-back, um, and I suppose what Graham Murphy was thinking, Andy Halliday in the... Uh, when we drew 2 all, and then we beat Celtic 5-4 on April 17th, 2016. Andy Halliday had Scott Brown in his back pocket. He performed uh, the game of his life, and I suppose he was playing quite well. But um, it really was quite insulting for Halliday to be taken off in the 37th minute. I felt terrible for him, but at the same time, Mercy was actively trying to make a change by bringing Josh Windass on. Um, and then, of course, Mercy took off Daniel Candeas, who for me was looking like really good. He was managing to hold the ball, he was strong, he was swinging the balls in, he was turning, he was active, he was in the game. Yet um, when he brought Holt on, he took, he took Candeas off. And uh, do you know what? I don't understand why he brought Holt on. If you're going to bring on a midfielder, at least make them, you know, if you're losing 3 0, if it's a mid midfielder you, you bring on, in my opinion, it needs to be defensive. Otherwise, bring out an all out, all out attacker, make it two up front. It could have been Kenny Miller, who would have been, you know, he'd have had a say in an old firm. Yeah, potentially he could have dropped back and run around like a bit of a clown in midfield, as he's done a couple of times. But he's a man that can pull a finger out. He's a man that can score, and he didn't get a say. He didn't even get a think. And when you're thinking about Jason Cummings as well, there's another player who could have changed the game. Kenny Miller is a game changer, uh, whether he's 38 or not. Let's forget that. Let's forget his age, because at, at this point in time, he's ageless. He's obviously making a few bad decisions. But in an old firm, and I'll, I'll happily look at it like an idiot here if people disagree, but... Kenny Miller's the man who could have changed the game. He, he wasn't brought on. Jason Cummings as well. Start to wonder if he's happy at the club or not because um, he's not really been getting a chance here. People have been saying, is he worthy of a chance? Well, that's a fair question. Um, he obviously scored in one of his first games. Hasn't done much since then. But when he played on the left wing slash inside forward role, he played really well. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's no secret I'd love to see the game go a different way. But... From the moment it kicked off, Celtic were all over us and it just didn't change. Normally, in an old firm, we'll have at least 10, 15 minutes where we take over and dominate. It just didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, at this point in time, you've got to say uh, uh, the, be the better team won and that they are the better team, but they've seen so much worse in the other games that we played them. I don't know why they suddenly seem so much stronger. It's Because if we played well, they still have played well. Um, it wasn't just that we looked terrible. They asked for if they looked good because they're passing, they're finishing. It was just... It was just Exquisite. There's, there was there was no matching it, but but for four nil, in a semi final when we we drew with them nil nil at there, at Celtic Park we almost beat them at Ibrox. They edged it three two, uh, and then to lose four nil in a semi final, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what to say from here on in. Graham Murty's, uh, he was shown to be uh, inept again when it comes to tactics. Honestly, I do thank him for what he's done. Um, we were in a better position from when uh, Kaijini, a more experienced manager, took over and Murty had to take over from him. But um, no, there's there's too many deficiencies within Murty's tactical game, like uh, not knowing how to change the game, not knowing which formations uh, potentially could change the game as well. But um, yeah, I, 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 I feel gutted. I'm disheartened. I really am. Um, but yeah, it's, it's times like this you just have to say that we were completely outplayed. I just need to know uh, how or what what kind of calibre manager we're going to bring in, how the manager's really going to change it. Do we need a full team clear out again? Is that going to happen again for what, the third season in a row? Um, yeah, at this point in time, I'm pretty much the same as every other Rangers fan, disheartened. I think the angry spell for me is gone. Um, just genuinely gutted now. Sorry for a lot of people, this wasn't the review that you wanted, but it wasn't the result that I wanted, so I don't really know what more I can say um, other than... <laughs> Roll on next season, really. It's, it's all I can really look forward to, as well as we have to minimum finish second. Well, minimum. We have to finish second now. Uh, Aberdeen recently just took a pumping from Motherwell 3 0, as I said earlier, so it's looking likely that their confidence could be disheartened as well. But um, yeah, the second needs to happen now, and I, I, I hope Motherwell beat Celtic. So there we go. Cheers for watching, and um, 
like and subscribe for more. Of course, if you're a Celtic fan, leave that hate in the description below. I fully expect it.